Scared, huh? Could have fooled me. I'm pushy, not crazy. Honestly, these days I'm more scared for my sister. I don't know what I'd do if something happened to her. But I'm not the only one with something to lose. That's why people deserve to know what's out there, good or bad. Couldn't agree more. How can you protect you and yours if you don't know what you're facing? Exactly. Most folks, though, they'd prefer a comforting lie. Not me. I've seen firsthand what the truth can do. My sister and I, we grew up way out in the Commonwealth. Tiny little settlement. Our dad, he was part of the local militia. <laughs> Keeping the raiders off our backs and the Mirelurks out of our latrines, as he'd describe it. Well, uh, one day, our dad turns up dead. His captain, asshole named Mayburn, claims raiders must have gotten him on watch. Well, I didn't buy it. I start making inquiries. Turns out, captain, he'd sold out. Thought he wasn't getting paid enough to babysit the town. He was gonna leave the gates open one night, let a group of raiders sack the place and take a cut of the profits. My dad found out and was gonna turn Mayburn in, but Mayburn got to him first. And I wasn't about to let that bastard get away with murder. I tried talking to the mayor, but he wouldn't listen. So, I papered the entire town in posters. Wanted for gross dereliction of duty, Captain Mayburn. The mayor sure wanted to talk after that. <laughs> the town threw Mayburn out on his ass and were dug in when a very surprised group of raiders finally showed. I'm sorry about your dad. Thanks. It was hard after he was gone, but knowing that he died doing right, that's always made it easier. But hey, I, I'm sorry if I've been rambling. I just get fired up sometimes. It's just nice to talk to someone who, who actually seems to get it, you know? So should we head out? Does anyone fight back? Institute has to have enemies. What? Need some custom hardware? We got a free work. Told you your luck wouldn't last forever. His ties. Oh, Nick. Something the wrong? Bills? Huh. Forget the bills. Another stray coming in from the rain. <sighs> Rage are too late. Office is closed. Sorry, uh, I'll come back later. No, that's not what I mean. We're not just closed for the day. We're closed permanently. The detective's gone missing. Nikki's missing? <laughs> what has he gotten himself into this time? Picture on milk carton time? If only it was that simple, right? <laughs> Nick disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Who's this Skinny Malone character? I don't know much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school of thuggery. You said Malone's from Good Neighbor? Yeah, it's a tough neighborhood. Northeast a ways. People with power there care about two things, style and body count. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry.
Hey, over here. Of course. Hey. Shoot. about any of this synth nonsense. Unless you're looking for a housing permit, I can't help you. What was that about synths? Oh, no. I'm not saying anything. I like my job, thank you very much. And you are... Janine. Uh-huh. Let's hear about the permit. We have one home available. It's in the center of town, right near the market. You can do whatever you like with the interior, and all the tools you need to make your own furnishings are provided at no extra charge. I'll take it. Here's the key. Let me be the first to welcome you as a resident of the Great Green Jewel. No funny business around the mayor. Got it? Hands up. Stop right there. Don't move. Hands up. 
Don't do anything stupid. Come on, huh? Talk to Abbott at the wall. Word is something bad. I can't believe you eat that. Only one thing himself. worth buying in the dugout in, and that's the pools. Yeah, it's gotta eat. What can I say? You heard about that real diamond city Covenant? boy eats at the noodles. Nice, thing. real clean. Straight no money the paper. Damn sense, hiding among us. Don't move, Simp. What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear, I'm not a Simp. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family! Put the gun down, now! He's a Simp! He'll kill us all! Kyle, no! Okay, show... What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? Ah! Kyle, ah! no! Okay, no, brother. show's over. If you there are no up, sins in Diamond City. He would have killed me? me. Just you folks in your damn paranoia. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Please, someone in this who hasn't engaged in a little friendly gone. attempted fratricide in their life? I'm, I'm not a synth. I, I told them. I, I kept telling them. Why didn't he listen to me? I, uh... I need a minute. Hey. My God. Kyle. Jesus, I... I can't... Officer. Nice shot. But I'm gonna have to ask you to step back. Got a mess to clean up. Why the glum face? I thought random murder was routine around here. You shut your mouth. We're risking our lives every day to keep assholes like you safe. Now move along. What's everyone still standing around for? Go back to your own damn business. What the hell just happened?
Head on inside. Just chill out, asshole. Gotta be kidding me. Something's out there. No funny business. I, I heard you. Let's just <laughs> stay calm. Don't move.
Seven and A. Some sort of code. Seven A. Definitely a code.
Now a six, and an O. Six O.
18 next. One R. Hmm. Yeah. The trail ends right at the church. So that's not right. Huh. It spins. Ugh. I have to start over. any further. Answer my questions. Who the hell are you? Put down your weapons first. Until I determine you're not a threat, we'll point our weapons wherever we damn well please. It's clear you're not with the Institute, but who told you how to contact us? I... Just heard a rumor about you guys in Diamond City. I see. I'm Desdemona, 
And I'm the leader of the railroad. And you are? Deacon, where have you been? You're having a party. What gives with my invitation? I need intel. Who is this? Wow! Newsflash, boss. This lady is kind of a big deal out there. Do we know each other? I didn't need to meet you to hear about you. You've made waves. You've left a trail of destruction in your wake. Gone places no sane person would go alone. So you're vouching for her? Yes. Trust me. She's someone we want on our side. That changes things. So, stranger, why did you want to meet with us anyway? You help sense? I want to lend a hand. There's a procedure for people who want to help the railroad. And showing up unannounced isn't it. I followed the only lead I had. Well, hopefully nobody else crashes this party. If we're going to be dealing with you, I need to make sure we're on the same page. You know what a synth is, right? I've heard rumors about them. They are synthetic humans created by the Institute. So close to real people that the distinction is meaningless. The Institute treats synths as property, as tools. That sounds like slavery. Exactly. So we seek to free the synths from their bondage. Give them a chance at a real life. I have a question. The only question that matters. Would you risk your life for your fellow man? Even if that man is a synth? I risk my life for people every day. <laughs> Makes no difference to me if it's a human or a synth. Well said. You said you wanted to save synths, but right now, we don't have the time to train up a new agent. There are, however, other valuable ways you can contribute. And in turn, we can help you. See Deacon for details. You're free to go. Hey, what can I do? Hey there. Hope you didn't mind the reception. When you tango with the Institute, you gotta be careful when someone new gets on the dance floor. Your leader was just being cautious. I'll take hurt feelings over becoming the Institute's plaything any day. Exactly. Kind of killed our chance at a friendly first impression, though. But it's all good now. I vouched for you. Nobody got shot. Still, I would consider it a close personal favor if you didn't sell us out to the Institute. Thanks. Too bad. I was hoping to get some beer money out of it. If you're picking up the tab, never mind. Go for it. So Dez wants me to make you a tourist. That's what we call someone who helps out with the odd job here and there. What a waste. I'm just gonna come out and say this. The railroad needs you. You got my attention. I got a job. Too big for me? Just perfect for the two of us. You help me out, we turn a few heads, and then Dez invites you into the fold. Then, if you get into a bind and need some help, your buddies in the railroad got your back. I got all day if you do. Sign me up then. Perfecto. Let's meet up at the old freeway outside of Lexington. I'll fill you in once you get there. Hey there. Got a few things to take care of. I'll see you at Lexington.
What was that? Deacon, is that you? Like the disguise? It's Wastelander Camo. This is my pile of garbage, asshole. Back off. Good, right? <laughs> You're lucky I didn't do one of my face swaps, too. I almost didn't recognize you. That's the point. So, about the job. The railroad's only recently been using the old North Church. Our old base was underneath the Slocum's Joe. We had a pretty sweet setup until the Institute found us. That sounds really, really bad. It was a disaster with a capital D. The survivors didn't have time to grab anything. So we're getting some... Let's find it then. We gotta do one thing. We gotta... For now. So I'm looking for rail signs. Symbols we use to send messages to each other. If you like that, we got signs and counter signs, dead drops, even a secret handshake. All right, maybe the handshake. 
Anyway, the tourists should have a trail left for us. Here we go. Rail sign. The arrow in the center indicates a direction. So our tourist is up ahead. Let's keep going. Got another rail sign, right there. See the plus in the center? That means there's an ally nearby, our tourist. You take point on the conversation. Look, no matter what he says, you just say, mine is in the shop. Trust me. Hi. Once your friend gets here, how about we have a chat, huh? Oh, thank God. You have a Geiger counter? You have a goddamn Geiger counter? Mine is in the shop. Who the hell is he? HQ said they were sending one agent, not two. Sorry, I'm new. She's just showing me the ropes. All right. The wall is my witness. I thought I was dead. It's about goddamn time you headquarters bastards got here. It's all right. We're here now. You're safe. You think I'm goddamn safe? That little slocum Joe's of yours is crawling with goddamn chrome dome and since sons of bitches! The front's fortified to hell and back. They place mines all over the goddamn place. I appreciate all you've done. I hope it helps. I really do. As soon as it's safe, I'm getting the hell out of here. So if you need anything else, better ask soon. Hey. Well, isn't Ricky just a ray of sunshine? You think he's telling the truth? He doesn't strike me as the dishonest type. Yeah, that's my read, too. First rule in this business is never go against your gut. So, if we take him at his word, the front door has mines, synths, and probably other fun and exciting prizes. So, we're going in through the escape tunnel. I say we go through the front door. Minefield or not. What? If you think we got the mojo for that, I'll back your play. You first.
Mechanics We're are in. present. The back entrance is safer, but be ready for Gen 1s and 2s. So it's time you learn why we're here. We're retrieving a prototype developed by our good Dr. Carrington. I got all day if you do. I got all day if you do. Still there? Appreciating the moment really is a lost art. Got all day if you do. You still there? I got all day if you do. I got all day if you do. Appreciating the moment really is a lost art. I got all day if you do. I got all day if you do. Hostile sensor reading detected. What can you tell me about the Gen 1s and 2s? The synths didn't start off as nigh-perfect copies of human beings. The Institute had to work up to that level of hubris. 
Gen 1s and 2s were stepping stones along the way. The railroad's not fully united on how we feel about them. Let's find a prototype, then. Together with you? I like our odds. Movement detected. Curious. Someone left a rail sign here.
right there. Bye bye, Gen 1. Prepare to be shot. Not every Slocum's Joe has a massive tunnel complex. You're entering the secret defense intelligence agency research lab, a place that never officially existed. It's called the Switchboard. The prototype is locked up in the heart of the facility. Appreciate it. May it serve you as well, heck, better than it did Tommy. Grab Carrington's prototype. You turn that over to Desdemona, and she'll have to let you into our merry band. Bingo. The elevator's at the end of the hall. Should be easy to power up and get out since we already cleared the path, right?
Hostile sensor reading detected. You must die now, human. Hey there. We got what we came for. Let's split up and meet back at the catacombs. We made a good team. The best. See you soon. I'll meet you back at the church. Shame to see a place like this neglected. Patched me up, put me on her shoulder, and blasted her away. Mm -hmm. Carrying you the whole time? Amazing, right? That's one word for it. Deacon told me you single-handedly secured Carrington's prototype, disabled a minefield, and wiped out a hundred Gen 1s. So is any of that true? Every word he said was true. And then some. A full hundred. I... I can't even imagine. See? Just like I said, boss. I was expecting Deacon to grab a full team, including Glory, to secure that prototype. But instead, just the two of you cleared out the entire switchboard. You'd be insane not to sign her up, Des. You've certainly made an impression on Deacon. He's never spoken about, or lied about, anyone so highly before. Welcome to the railroad, Agent. Glad to be aboard. It seems we're very lucky to have you. So you're in. Now I need to know what to call you. 
Secrecy keeps us alive. Code names are a part of that. So what's yours? Have any suggestions? No. It doesn't work like that. Your life, your name, your choice. Call me Charmer. Charmer? Hm. Fitting. Your first official order is to deliver Dr. Carrington his prototype and see if he can use another pair of hands. But first, it's time to meet the rest of the gang. The location of our HQ is one of our most up top. Be careful. Hey, never know when you're being watched. You sure manage to find your fair share of trouble, don't you? I suppose so. Hey, I'm not one to judge. Honestly, it's just nice to not be doing it alone for a change. <laughs> In my line of work, things tend to get pretty hairy. I've been shot at, poisoned, nearly executed. Heck, until recently, they called the lockup in Diamond City the Piper Suite. Anything for a story, I suppose. You've led an exciting life. Sure have. Sure. Get it? Right. I mean, you, not, hmm. I, I'm glad you're here too, Piper. Thanks. So, uh -huh. Wait, hold, stay there. Mm, time for some travel fuel. Want one? I need you to get out of your power armor. You got it. Sometimes. Approach isn't the best to take. Heads up. Don't mind the clutter. Heads up. You say the word. Over here. What do you need? I was just wondering where you and I stand. Things are pretty good from where I'm standing. So long as we're helping people out here, I'm all in. Is everything okay between us? You got nothing to worry about. We're good, Blue. Now what do you say we get back to making trouble? I think we ought to go our separate ways. Suppose I'll head home then. But if you decide you want to get a... What is it? Hi. Welcome to the family. We're a colorful and arguably insane bunch. But you're stuck with us now. Speaking of which... Let's go then. I'm all ready. Uh -huh. Look alive. Loading up or loading off? Look alive. Tell me what you want. Hey, Rook. Your name's Drummer Boy. It's my envious job to keep track of all the dead people, grab incoming agents, and tell them where they're needed. Hold up. See what I got in my pockets.
pay. What's mine is yours, pal. Hey. Yeah. What's on your mind? Just wanted to check in, see how you feel things are going between us. Just happy to get out and about. Gives me... Just wanted to check in. This is it. It may lack the amenities of the switchboard, but it's safe, and we've taken precautions not to be surprised again. Things are chaotic right now, so there's plenty for you to do. Listen up, everyone. This is Charmer. He did this really want the freedom. She's a full agent By perspective yourself. immediately. I'm counting on each of you to show her the ropes. Feel free to welcome her aboard. That is all. It's not an easy road to have chosen. But you're never alone. Solving for Theta N when I approaches probability bound. Bingo. our newest agent.
Surely Tinker could have found a better HQ than this. Glad you signed on. It means I might get to take the occasional night off. So bloody tired. Deacon's record is the best. You could learn a lot from him. Would it kill them to let me know mission specs before the dead drop? Just once? If you're not injured, please bother someone else. Testimona told me to give you this. An extraordinary feat to recover this, but that's hardly the point. Without a lick of training and us knowing hardly anything about you, Des has invited you to join HQ. It would have been nice if she had consulted with... <sighs> you guys recruited me. I don't need your attitude. Charming. I'm sure you and Glory will be fast friends. One of our field agents, Old Man Stockton, needs help with the runaway synth. H222. So headquarters, as always, puts out the fires that others can't be bothered to put out themselves. Paranoid old bat won't even tell us the problem. He insists that we get our intel from a dead drop. Please, I do have important duties to attend to.
Please, I do have important duties to attend to. Delightful. Let's waste more of my time, shall we? So is there anyone you like? What, Carrington? He's just dripping with charm. Yeah, people are lined up around the block to be his pal. Oh, I wasn't aware we were competing for congeniality awards. I thought we were rescuing synths. My mistake. The dead drop is a mailbox with a rail sign on it. It's a common means of communication for us, so keep an eye out for them. When you make contact with Stockton, he won't give you the time of day unless you give him the proper countersign. The current sign is, do you have a Geiger counter? And the counter is, mine is in the shop. Please tell me Deacon taught you that at least. You can trust me with this. I'll get it done. You sound rather convincing, actually. Stockton is a prominent businessman at Bunker. Use the es We've been traveling for a spell. I was hoping to have some words with you. Now's a good time. I'm used to flying solo, but I got to admit, working with you makes me think I've been missing out. Having someone watching your back is refreshing. Especially since you never know when the Institute is watching. The feeling's mutual. I gotta say, you make it look easy, but you have some built-in advantages. Some people at HQ are jealous. You took the big nap and everyone you knew is long gone. Now, hear me out on the silver lining. If a human in the railroad slips up, then they expose friends and loved ones to danger. You're safe from that. You're saying that losing my boy is a good thing. Oh, Jesus, no, I didn't mean that. Look, if the church gets compromised and the coursers are on our tail, at least you're not putting more people in harm's way. That's all. It doesn't matter much to me. I'm a synth. At least that's what they tell me. So, I really don't have anything to lose. For Glory and me and the others, it's easier to dedicate ourselves to the cause. You're a synth? Why didn't you tell me before? I don't like talking about it. I was one of the first synths they did the whole cranium reboot on, so it's a bit of a botched job. Most synths have fun fake memories. A happy home, a family. Me, I got nothing. And that, well, it does something to you. Since we're traveling together, I want you to take this. It's my recall code. If you ever need to know something about the Institute, Read it to me. I appreciate the trust. Yeah, well, about that. Don't use the code unless you absolutely have to. It'll wipe my memories. I'm not sure how much of me will even be left. You know, I'd just feel better if you didn't read it until you need it.
What you need? Over here. I'll get her done. Hi. You know, I'm having second thoughts on the whole recall code. Wait. You read it, didn't you? No, I haven't read it yet. Good, please don't. It'll make it easier to sleep at night. You really walk the freedom hey. trail? Mm -hmm. By yourself? <clears throat> you know, I'm having second thoughts on the whole recall code. Wait. You read it, didn't you? You can't trust everyone. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> Did I have you going? Don't take it personal. Look, I lie to everyone. Maybe I'm just another human that has people back home he wants to protect. Then again, maybe not. <laughs> you could still be a synth. 
are you? I think I'll wait until the betting pool back at HQ gets a little higher before I answer that one. When I need some beer money. That code I gave you is a hard truth. You can't trust everyone. Even if someone sounds sincere, they could be a synth replacement working for the Institute. The bitch of the problem is recognizing the 90% of the time someone's on the up and up and the 10% of the time you're being played. Part of me still feels it's wrong to use this place as a base, but we didn't have a lot of options.
Hey. Sure. That's me. What's up? That's all for now. Another time. Heads up. What's on your mind? I swear I must be going crazy. Nothing else I needed. Another time. Son of a bitch! Heads up. Loading up or loading off? Look alive. Look alive. Hey. You called? Such a good fire fight. Ah, the time honored tradition of looting. where I can see him. Don't worry, I'm not gonna try anything. Oh, sure. That's what they all say before pulling a gun. met you, I'd go whole days without massacring a bunch of things. Honest.
I'm here on my own. Freelance, huh? All right. Come on in, but no gunfire. Market's open. You can do as much trading as you like. I wonder who or what they're protecting against. Hey, welcome, my friend. Might I ask, do you have a Geiger counter? Mine is in the shop. You? I was expecting someone a bit more... Uh, armed. You're with our mutual friends, yes? Yeah, I'm with the railroad. Perhaps you should lower your voice and choose your words with greater care. You've just joined, haven't you? All you need to know is this is the first stop for all our new packages. So maintaining proper security here and preventing any unnecessary delays is crucial. No one likes delays. Yeah, delays have a habit of creating all sorts of problems. It's bad for business. My current package has been in my possession far too long. I'm supposed to deliver the package to someplace nearby, but raiders have complicated matters. So, if you could... So, I just need to wipe out a few raiders? Done. <laughs> I like you already. We're supposed to make the delivery at night, so once you clear out the undesirables, we'll meet after the sun sets. The safer I'm supposed to feel, the more paranoid You there. Have. We need to have a conversation. Let's hear it. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. From what I hear, you may fit the bill. I don't mind danger, so long as I get paid well enough. You will be well paid. I can promise you that. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me, but you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming.
everything looks clear. This is H222. H2, here's the person I talked to you about. Nice to meet you, H2. Another person actually happy to meet me. This'll take some getting used to. Remember what I told you, H2. I'll fire up the signal. And there. Time for me to go. Keep H2 safe. Someone will be here shortly. Hey, H2. From what I've been told, it's probably safer if I don't say anything. I don't want to put you in any more danger. Easy there. Don't shoot. Charmer, right? And my man Deacon. Still with the same old face? What? It's been three whole months. You're getting slow. I keep meaning to go to the face doctor, but who has the time, right? I heard about you. Walked the Freedom Trail, cleared out Switchboard. Glad you joined the team. It's nice to meet you. Honor's all mine. Let's take a look at our friend. Hey, you. You okay? A little rattled, but I've never been better. The other man... Operators, not a problem. You hit. 